action. He stole from the National Gallery a priceless portrait of the Duke of Wellington by Francisco Jose de Goya. Not very good, is it? The British haven't had much luck trying to export Marmite or convince us to eat kippers for breakfast, but the Poms have absolutely cornered the market when it comes to feel-good cinema. You've got rom-coms like Love Actually and Notting Hill. You've got inspirational comedies like The Full Monty and Brassed Off, which, now that I think about it, might actually be the same movie, only with a different interpretation of what a horn is. And then you've got all the wonderful period movies that are based on true stories, like The King's Speech, Bohemian Rhapsody, and the iconic Chariots of Fire. Wait for it. And don't forget literally infinity movies starring Judi Dench, Maggie Smith and Bill Nighy. The Brits are so good at this stuff, even the feel-good movies that aren't that amazing are still so enjoyable to watch. Yes, I'm looking at you, Eddie the Eagle. Yeah. Eddie, you are not an athlete! So with that sort of track record, it really should come as no surprise at all that the UK has produced yet another ripper of a feel-good flick in The Duke. The movie was directed by Roger Michelle, who's the bloke who helmed Notting Hill, BTW, and it's actually the last film Michelle made before he died last year. But he's certainly gone out with a bang, leaving us with a charming, heartfelt romp of a movie that manages to find the unlikely middle ground between a stylish Guy Ritchie crime caper and the biting social commentary of a Ken Loach movie. The taxpayer paid for that bin. They could have given thousands to war widows and pensioners. For the greater good of mankind. Mankind? What about your own kind? The film is based on the incredible true story of Kempton Bunton, who was a 60-year-old fellow from the blue-collar town of Newcastle in northern England, who sensationally pleaded not guilty to the brazen theft of a Goya masterpiece from the National Gallery in London in 1961. How do you plead? Not guilty. Yes! For those unfamiliar with court proceedings, that was the plea, not the verdict. The plea was sensational because Kempton was caught red-handed trying to return the painting, which was of the Duke of Wellington, hence the name of the movie. And he also readily admitted to trying to ransom the painting to raise money for society's most vulnerable people. It's hard to imagine anyone more suited to playing this lovable rogue than the great Jim Broadbent, who gives a cracking performance in a role that has more complexity than your average feel-good flick and he gets immense help from the one and only Helen Mirren, who is perfectly cast as his long-suffering wife, Dorothy. I'm shaken. It's the shock. Shock, yes, I'm shocked. There's a stolen masterpiece in my wardrobe. The pair enjoy the sort of chemistry that produces laughs and poignant moments in equal measure, and it elevates the material to the top tier of UK filmmaking. And just when you think you have it all figured out, Michelle hits the audience with a twist that's just shocking enough to pump up the stakes as the film approaches its conclusion. The Duke gets four stars. Oh